All right, guys. So um, this is me coming back to my uh, servo uh, transfer case transmission um, little modification that I've been working on for a little while. Haven't made an update on it for a while, so I figured I'd give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna go do with this guy. Uh, as you guys already know, I've been using the cordless motor from the solar servo, the D771. It's got a lot more power than the other motors that I was using on my sumo crawler, and um, it was good enough for that guy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, metal gears inside of the servo and uh, everything else I guess and I'm going to mate it to this bigger motor. It's a lot bigger than the motor that was in it. It's a lot stronger than the cordless motor that came from it and um, I really tested it and the ESC from the sumo crawler is able to move it. This is a micro core modified motor from Team Orion. And it's um, in reality, it's meant to be used on an HPI Micro RS4, but I'm gonna use it on a on my son's um, grave digger. Now, the only reason I'm gonna put it on the grave digger, not that he needs any more power, but uh, because it's just got a lot more room for me to be able to fit this guy in there. Now, conveniently enough, this uh, solar servo, as you can see, actually has all those mounting holes on the back where that cordless motor was so I'm actually going to use those mounting holes with the mounting holes that come with this um, RS4 uh, motor they actually line up so I'll use two of those little holes and uh, this thing will just drop right in there I actually had to um, kind of grind down the, the actual shaft that came out of this motor I cut a little piece of it off and then I ground it down to where it will actually fit inside the um, the gear, the, the pinion gear that goes into the servo. I'm um, trying to focus, sorry about that, but the lighting is not helping. Here it is. Alright, so that pinion gear does not fit into this motor unless you grind down the shaft of the motor. So, just kind of throwing that out there in case you want to do something crazy like this. Now, this is not a uh, ball bearing motor. Even though it is a modified motor, it's not a ball bearing motor. I'm going to go in there later and put a ball bearing in there just for the heck of it. It's not really make that big of a difference considering that it's going to be my son playing with it. But, um, I don't know. Figure I just throw it in there and see what happens. Uh, as you can already imagine, this is going to be a lot stronger than any of the motors that I put into the Sumo. This is a size comparison of the stock motor that comes with a Sumo crawler. See if I can get a look from the side. That is absolutely huge. Now, this motor right here, it's uh, about the same diameter of a 130 motor, but it is completely round, so the magnets go all the way around. Not like this one where it's flat on the sides, which is the same thing you will get from a 130 motor. So you only get smaller magnets on this thing. This thing has huge magnets that go all the way around, and it's got a bigger. Um, piece inside I guess with the windings and everything so it's got a lot more torque and uh, it's also got the um, replaceable brushes which I have a bunch of them over there I figured that'd be a good thing because that way I could just rebuild it every time my son wears it out or whatever uh, but I don't know that's pretty much where we're at I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and hopefully attach it to this video to show you what the servo looks like running on this motor All right. You got another closer look at that guy. Timo Ryan. Alright guys. Well, there you go. Alright guys, so um here I have the servo already set up, connected to my um ESC from my sumo crawler. And uh like I said, there's the servo. I went ahead and put this tip on it so you can see the actual rotational speed. Uh, attach the motor to it and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the battery using the 250 milliamp skylight bulb and that uh, is my son making noise on the side alright so we turn on the ESC turn on the transmitter now for a test of speed That's when it goes slow. That's the slowest it'll go right there. Pretty slow. 
Good enough to crawl. Remember, you're gonna have a reduction on your differential anyway. Be quiet. Okay. Be so, quiet. I'm pretty sure the that's red. gonna be enough speed. <laughs> Like I said, that right there, that's the slow speed. And like I said, this is going to be reducing the differential as well. So you're going to get even slower speed. And now this is the top speed. Hold on. Let me get my son to stop playing with the camera. Okay. So again. Oh, that is extremely fast. Why, Daddy? Okay, again. Low speed. That's extremely slow. And then we go on equal speed. Pretty quick to respond. Oh, that is extremely fast. I don't know how much speed you guys are really going to need but um when it comes to yeah. sumo upgraded motors and transmissions and um, I guess gearboxes this is as good as it's going to get i mean unless you go ahead and put a um, lossy transmission in there and try to put some of their motors over there but uh, i think this is the best result i've gotten so far i'm going to go ahead and put this on my son's grave digger to see what kind of speed i can get out of it and uh how much uh, torque I'm going to have shouldn't be an issue because this servo with the cordless motor had a, honestly, uh, I don't remember right now but I'm pretty sure it was over 250 ounces of torque so it's a really strong servo with just a cordless motor this motor is a lot stronger than that one and as you can see it's a lot faster as well so I don't expect any problems with this one as far as power goes uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on the grape digger and uh, show you guys what I can do. Pretty amazing. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, thanks.